Welcome to Jasmine Masters class. Etiquette. I am Jasmine Masters. Propriety. And I have something to say. So if you guys missed DragCon LA, make sure you guys come see me at DragCon New York City, September 6th, 7th, and 8th. Get your tickets now at RuPaulsDragCon.com. Annyeong! Today we're going to be talking about body shaming and body positivity. Because me, myself, and I, I have been called skinny, bony, two pick with eyes, a screwdriver, you name it, I have been called everything. But I got over it. You know why? Because I love myself regardless. And so it doesn't matter what they call me. And if you out there bad shaming or skinny shaming somebody, you stop that, you little tramps. That's not fun. Look at yourself in the mirrors and love yourself first before you try to tell somebody else about their looks. Because I guarantee you, your ass is not perfect, bitch. Because you know why? No one is perfect in the world. So you stop shaming someone because they may be a little thick or a little skinnier than you. Tramp. <laughs> And with that being said, I'm gonna slide on over here, read this letter, and see what one of my jishies had to tell me, because you know, everybody got a problem. And this says, Dear Jasmine, I am getting to know a guy that is shorter than me, but he is so fine. I am 6'2", and he is 5'3". Okay. Sometimes it's really awkward when we interact because of the height difference. Mm. But the chemistry is there. I do get really tired of looking down to him what should I do? We haven't had sex yet. I'm versed and I like to bottle sometimes. How the hell does that work? Sincerely, a 6'2 bottle. Real sincerely, a 6'2 bottle. Let me tell you how that works. You politely bend your tall ass over and let his short ass get up in there and knock your walls out of socket. But let me tell you something. The short ones always have these like baseball bats and these real strong ass that be bigger than them. And that's what you really want, you so tall. Don't worry about him being smaller than you and you're so tall. That what kind of makes it cute. Cause it's always the tall ones who wanna sprawl their legs and shoot them up like this anyway. But don't worry about the awkwardness. He's short, you tall. Pick his little ass up and carry him on your damn waist or something. But the main thing is, make sure that he is versatile. Cause you don't wanna have this little person thinking you this big old manly full top and then you wanna get your ass sprawled over too. So make sure that's a communication you both understand. But other than that, bend your ass on over or lay down on the bed and let his little small ass crawl up in there and knock your cobwebs, you lose. Simple. That's what you do. And enjoy and then send me a letter and tell me how it was. <laughs> because I really wanna know. I wanna tell nobody, it will stay between us. With that being said, let me go read another letter that one of you has sent me with your problems. Dear Jasmine, why is there so much fat shaming in the gay community? I try to hook up with many people, but when they see me in person, they reject me and instantly tell me to leave because I'm too big for their liking. Regards, a jish. Cause people are ass That's why. People are absolutely ass I don't know why our community is so blind when it comes to dating someone who's a little overweight or thick -um. I don't get it. That's just somebody who's closed-minded and who don't love themselves because if they love themselves, they wouldn't care what love came in. As long as somebody's gonna make them happy, that's what they should be looking for. For me personally, I love a little thick -um. Somebody, you know, a little, get your thick ass in the bed, thick thick, all that. Yes, indeed, we gonna eat together, you know? And it sounds like you're a beautiful person in the inside. I'm pretty sure you're a sweetheart. And trust me, the right one will come along. If not, call me. <laughs> and if you are one of those people who like to body shame somebody, you know what? Your ass need to look in the mirror because I guarantee you, you are not perfect. That's why you body shaming somebody else. They keep all the looks and the talks off of you because you know you have flaws your flaws, love your flaws, and stop putting someone else down to bring yourself up. I remember one time, baby, let me go on. I was at a strip show and everyone was laughing because this little old stripper came out with his little body. And he was kind of short, you know, real thin, and he was twerking and everybody was laughing. But when he let that coat down, baby, and they seen that touching that damn ankle, oh my gosh. He made all the money. He had the biggest he was the smallest person in the club. I seen them, some of the small ones, you know? The small ones have some big ones, the big ones have some big ones, you know, the thick ones. The thick ones have some cucumbers. So don't be shy on the thick ones either. 
I met this guy who was 6'3 one time. And you know, you think of somebody really big, you think, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much going on down there. Baby, that was small. That was so damn small. That looked like it was a premature. That was tiny. So where you at? All the bigness was in the body. Now, I'm not shaming it. And no, I did not take the but I'm just saying, you know, you find it in different things and hopefully you find something that you like, whether it's big or small, you know, to each is all. Out of me personally, I don't like nothing with that big in my butt. I'm not that gay, you know that. I love my body, Jill. I love every bit of it. The parts I don't, I was insecure about, I love them even more because that's the better part of me. So just do the same thing. Look in the mirror and just love yourself. You gotta spread your butt cheeks, lift your tail, spread your around just love yourself every part of you because it's you so if you have any question any emails anything please send it over to press at world of .net so i can get my gist you get your gist and we all get our gist see you later gist tramp <laughs>